Right now, my biggest challenges uh, have to do with timing and also just improving working memory as it relates to my reading comprehension, both for the section and kind of just overall, even in logic games and logic reasoning, I find myself struggling a little bit um, with working memory. Mm -hmm. Have you done anything to try and test it? No. And I think that that's kind of what I need to do and would love some of your suggestions on. Sure. How's your working memory in logic games? Um, it's, it's usually okay, but every now and then I find myself making a slip up where, you know, if I do misinterpret a rule, it's just because I wrote down the wrong letter when I was diagramming, things like that that are so simple, but I'm noticing I'm doing now and then. Okay. So in that case, misinterpretation, what's the solution? Uh, Mr. Potato, I mean, and, and to solve that, I usually just, um, make sure that after I write out the diagrams or everything for the rules, I'm checking them once over again. Um, and just taking the, you know, extra couple seconds it takes to do that obviously saves you a lot of time if you're not going to, you know, waste a ton of time with an error. Right. So you essentially, you double check, right? Mm-hmm. What about in reading comprehension? What's, what do you do there in terms of absorbing information? Uh, I, I try and take a pause after every paragraph that I read to make sure I have a two to three word kind of summary um, to remember what information I want to come back to. And I, I experiment for at some times I was writing down on a scratch paper um, the gist of the paragraph, but I'm trying to move away from that because I think it was sort of serving as a crutch and not really helping. Okay. Okay. Have you experimented with not writing down anything? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm starting to do. And I think it's, um, I think it's working better. Have you ever tried doing a mental double check? Uh, no. Well, what would that be? Well, let's say for example, if you were, taking a couple of words as your articulation of what was happening in a particular paragraph, let's say. So let's say there's three to four paragraphs in a passage and you come up with a couple of key words related to each of those paragraphs. So you have a mental checklist. You run through these four paragraphs, have these four concepts. Mm -hmm. Then you run through it again and you make sure was that concept actually in that paragraph. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, that, that sounds like a great thing that I can try. And we could see if it is an issue of misinterpretation and misremembering or potentially just going blank on it. Mm -hmm. They have different consequences. If you misinterpret, that's, in my view, enormously problematic because then you can confidently choose something wrong. Right. If you just don't remember, well, the solution would then just be to go back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Then there's the question of whether you even need to improve the short-term memory, the work memory in reading comprehension, or could you have an alternative strategy where you just go back a lot? Yeah, that's definitely what I do right now is that I go back a lot and I kind of, you know, after I've done my initial read, quickly read the chunk really quickly. Um, and, but I don't know, I just, because I am generally running out of time, I wonder if that is not the best strategy for me. But I don't know, I guess it's going to take some more trial and error. Exactly. I mean, reading comprehension, there's different valid methods. Mm -hmm. And the key is just to experiment and see what feels good and what gets you the most points. Right, right. Personally, I like to go back a lot. I like to confirm little details. Okay. Other people may feel confident in everything they got up front and they don't make mistakes and don't need to go back as much. So you do think that there is a, a path for success that involves going back frequently? Yeah, there is a path for that. And that's my personal path. I go back a lot for things to confirm little details. But what makes that work for me is I can quickly scan and find the key words and phrases I need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. And that's what I'm trying to do. I do, uh, like the highlighter tool. 
I know <laughs> maybe it's a little bit too slow, um, but it, you know, when there's a really convoluted sentence, I like that I can just highlight the core of what that sentence is and it makes it so much easier to come back and remember what the paragraph was trying to say. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a personal strategy style and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. As long as it works for you and you've tested it under timed conditions and it, it goes smoothly. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.